So I want to help you understand what's going on in the Naples real estate market right now. So welcome. My name is Lori Rose. I'm a local realtor here in Naples, Florida, and I help people like you that are moving to Naples, Florida. And I also help sellers find their next dream home. So today I want to share with you five insights into the real estate market here in Southwest Florida right now. So let's start off with bidding wars. The bidding wars are here in Naples, Florida, and they're here to stay for a while. So we have a classic supply and demand situation here in Naples, Florida, and I don't see anything in the horizon in the near future that's going to change the supply side of the scenario in a positive manner anytime soon. I just don't see that happening. We may see less of a demand, but nothing it seems to be in order to get our supply higher. So until our supply goes higher, I don't see much of a change in our um, bidding wars. So I think bidding wars are here to stay for quite some time. Again, until our supply catches up with our demand, nothing's going to change. So I can tell you a little story about uh, last weekend. I went to see an open house. Um, it started um, at 12 o'clock on Saturday. The house had come on the market Friday night. Uh, the agent was holding an open house from 12 to two on Saturday. When I got there at like say five after 12, there was already four cars uh, in the lot waiting to look at the house. When I got in the house, it was just full of people. Uh, I talked to the agent. The agent said she already had offers in hand. Um, I spent about 45 minutes previewing the property. And when I left, there was over 17 cars parked along the street. And those people were just piling into this property. So you will be in some type of bidding situation when you're purchasing home here. It's just a matter of fact at this point in time, almost every house um, has a bidding war or you just need to bid to win the house. Now, there are ways of getting a house without getting into a bidding situation. I've discussed that before in some other videos, so I'll add a link above to a video that uh, describes how you can do that. So next, you don't need cash to buy a home, but it helps. So here in Naples, 80% of our properties are purchased without a mortgage. And that is a lot of properties that are not financed. And I know that sounds like a lot, but when you look on the other hand, 20% of the homes were able to be purchased with financing. So if you're buying a house with financing, don't fret, you still have a chance. So when you come to Naples, Florida, you are going to be bidding against other buyers. And bids that don't have the complications of a mortgage are definitely favored by the sellers. So if you are financing a home and you're in a bidding situation, you're going to have to figure out a way to make your bid more competitive. And one of the ways to do that is to offer a larger down payment. Homes are increasing in value faster than appraisers can update their database. So that means that the home you're purchasing may not appraise for the price you're paying. It's very typical right now here in Naples, Florida. So sellers who accept a finance deal, want to know that the buyer can cover the difference between what they're offering and what the appraised value is. And by having that large down payment, that really helps in that situation. It puts the seller at ease. So these appraisal discrepancies are one of the main reasons that sellers here want a cash deal versus a finance deal. And that large down payment also signifies to the seller that you are very serious about making it to the closing date on that contract. So moving on prices. So here in Naples, our prices are still climbing. And again, it's due to our lack of inventory and our abundance of buyers. So of course the bidding wars are pushing prices up, but it's also season here. Now those seasonal rental people, a lot of them last year, uh, decided to wait out. They were hoping that the prices were gonna fall from last year to this year, so they sat out on the sidelines. Well, they came back and realized that that didn't work for them. The prices are higher this year than last year. So a lot of them have decided to get off the sidelines and purchase something this year. So will prices keep increasing? Well, until we have some type of stabilization in the market, whether we have less demand or we get a little more supply, I don't see the bidding wars going anywhere soon, like I mentioned before, and those bidding wars are the things that are pushing the market up, plus 
uh, interest rates are creeping up a little bit more and that fear of missing out is pushing into. So even if our demand slows down a little bit, we have such a lack of supply. Like I mentioned before, I don't see that our supply is going to catch up anytime soon. I just think it's going to be quite some time before our prices stabilize due to supply and demand. So the last few years have been challenging for all of us. And you see a lot of people that have sped up their retirement plans or are just moving their families for a better lifestyle. And here in Southwest Florida, no longer do transplants have to worry about jobs. Most people are working remote, so they're bringing their job with them. That makes Southwest Florida even more attractive. So more on prices. Houses are not selling for list price. They're selling for more. So with that said, as you are looking at listings online, know that they are not going for that listing price and most likely they're going for 10 to 20% more than asking. So when you're looking at listings online, remember since things are going 10 to 20% more than asking price, you want to take a look at pricing 10 to 20% lower than where you think you want to be. And now let's talk about timing. How long do you have to purchase a home once you see it on the market? Well, I looked at the listings today, 49 new homes came on the market and most of them would be sold in the first three days. So agents are asking right now for all offers to begin, usually within 48 hours of that listing hitting the market. So with most offers having to be in within the first 48 hours of that listing, we're seeing more and more homes sell without the buyer ever stepping foot in that house. So what does this mean for you if you're planning to move to Naples, Florida? So you know you're gonna to have to move fast, but you also have to be patient. So you're gonna to have to know your budget and stick with it. You may have to revise your wish list just a little bit to get a home here. If you're planning to finance a home, you're going to need a large down payment. You're also going to have to be pre-approved before you can put in an offer. And you are going to have to feel comfortable offering more money than the list price. And by that, I mean not just a thousand or two thousand dollars. It's going to be more than that. So I hope this gave you some insight into what is going on here in the Naples real estate market right now. So please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about uh, Naples real estate market. I love hearing from everyone all over the country. You can reach out by giving me a call, email, text message, whatever you feel comfortable with. You can even just leave a message in the comments below. So until next time, my name is Lori Rose. I'm a local realtor here in Naples, Florida, and I make videos like this one about the Naples real estate market, as well as uh, different neighborhoods here in Naples and what it's like to live here. So if these are subjects that are of interest to you, make sure that you hit that like button and you subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I will see you next time. Bye.